When a patient considers an emergency may not appear to be an emergency to a person with medical training. For example, you know, a kid who falls off playground equipment, you know, the kid may perceive that as an emergency, the parent may perceive that, perceive that as an immense emergency, but w once the emergency medical technician arrives, they may evaluate the situation and realize that the patient is screaming, that, you know, they may have, you know, maybe hurt their knee, maybe uh, brazed their knee or something minor, but it does not really, it's nothing truly critical. Now, however, some medical personnel become irritated or annoyed when they feel that they've been summoned to assist a person who does not particularly, who's not particularly ill or one who has a minor complaint. Remember, emergency is in the eye of the beholder. You know, if the patient perceives it to be an emergency, we must treat it like an emergency and respect that patient. <coughs> Excuse me. As an EMS professional, it's important that you accept every call for assistance without prejudice. Provide the best emergency care for you, care you can for every patient without questioning the validity of the complaint. And it's important, you know, again, you must keep your personal feelings aside. It doesn't matter if your patient's black, white, you know, Asian, Hispanic, gay, straight, you know, if they're Muslim, Jewish, Christian, whatever it is, you must respect that patient and you, know, you must not hold that against them. More importantly, if your patient says it's an emergency, you must treat it as such. Does this mean that you need to transport them code three for a stubbed toe? No, of course not. But you know, if your patient insists on going to the hospital and you, you know, you've evaluated the situation, you respect your patient's wishes and go ahead and do what's necessary.